Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Alcan ADV. Uh, today we're going to do a little review on the Tusk Pannier system and racks and all that that I uh, bought before the trip and put on this bike. Anyway, I've liked them. Uh, we'll go into a few pros and cons and whatnot right after this. <laughs> So this system is very modular. Uh, you can buy just the box, which is the box, the lid, two latches, and nothing else. There's a seal in it, um, but it's just the box. Then you can buy just the racks if you want. And the box lid comes with these uh, footman loops on it, but no handle, just, just the loops. So you can strap things down to it if you want. Anyway, what I got was the whole setup, which includes uh, the boxes, and the racks, uh, no handles, but four latches, two boxes, two lids, and the rack. Um, they make these racks for all kinds of bikes. Um, of course, I got the one for my bike, but uh, you can get them for, I know the new generation of Africa Twin is on there. Um, of course, all the KLRs and a lot of other bikes too, but I'm not sure exactly which ones. You can also buy just the rack if you want, and this is what that looks like. Uh, if you buy just the rack, it also comes with this plate here, which is on the back of the box. This is to attach uh, whatever box you decide to put on to. The bracket attaches to the rack by hooking over here. This kind of keeps it centered. And then up here, this pin can be pulled and uh, latches it on that way. Also, there is a nut welded on back here which uh, you can drill a hole in the box and put a stud, a screw through here, uh, which locks the box to the rack. And you can't get it off unless you have a key or something and can open the box, so that works okay. As far as mounting, uh, this went on fairly easy. I had a little trouble here um, with a couple of these. I believe it was this one. It might've been the opposite one um, lining up correctly. I had to beat on it a little bit to, to get them to line up but it mounts up here where your blinker mounts, mounts right here on the rack, and then of course up forward on the passenger peg as well. And then it has a, uh, a V bar that goes along back behind the uh, this rear sub fender back here and uh, kind of locks everything together. So they give you brackets to move your blinkers back and so the blinker mounts back here instead of where it's supposed to be. Um, and they don't do anything to the function of the blinkers. I've, Sometimes they say you have to uh, lengthen the blinker wires, but I didn't find that uh, in this case. You also move the helmet lock from where it's supposed to be uh, down to on the back here. I had a little problem because this uh, V-bar, whatever you want to call it, interfered with my uh, light to light up the plate. It's, uh, it's not the light, it's actually the, uh, the little shroud that goes over the light. You can't quite see it really, but so I had to cut that shroud out a bit on both sides uh, to where it wouldn't rub with this bar. But other than that, um, installation went fairly smooth. Now, if you get these boxes, uh, I would highly recommend also getting the pannier handles for them. This not only aids in carrying the box, uh, you can take the box off, walk into a hotel with it, and just carry it like a suitcase. Um, it's also, for a passenger, uh, they can hang on to these, which is which is fairly nice. And this is something I wanted to do uh, very much, is be able to still have a passenger on. And so I was very careful when I put these on, because when you mount these, you can mount them in all kinds of configurations, up, down, forward, backward. Um, so I was real careful to where there was enough room uh, on the foot peg for a passenger's foot. And so that's that's kind of how they got to where they are. Also, I wanted them low enough to where I could keep my center of gravity as low as possible. Now, if you have a top case, uh, like I did, that sticks out past uh, the rear rack here, there's another thing you have to watch out for, and that is mounting these panniers low enough that they'll clear the box. And so if you have a box sticking out, you've got to be able to lift that lid off and get it out of there. Otherwise, well, you'll have problems. Well, as far as longevity, I've gone down on these a few times, as you can see. This tape is uh, a good idea, by the way, not stock. This is, I put this on. Uh, it's DOT reflective tape for like trailers or whatever. Lights up like crazy at night. I've had people just amazed when they drive behind me at, at how much the back of this thing lights up. 
Anyway, I've gone down a few times on each side, uh, at least once real hard on each side, and uh, they've, they've held up really well. Now one thing that'll happen as you crash on these things is uh, if you hit the front of them, this will crack here, here. I've, I've hit the front and then bent it back from its racked position and, uh, and it cracks out. Obviously the seal isn't quite watertight there, but oh well. Uh, also, as you go down on the side, basically you're putting the whole weight or half of the weight on the bike on a, a sheet of aluminum. So as you can see, this is a little bent out. The, the rack will actually push into this. So um, I would remedy that sometimes by just pulling on it and trying to pop that back out. But in doing that, it loosens the box up. So you've got a little bit of play there and there's some play in this one too. Not all that much, but there's still quite a bit. So just beware of that. And if anybody's wondering how it does with road rash, here it is. Uh, this is a little scary, but this part of the box contacted the road in one of my crashes and you can see the angle. So that's how it was sliding and that's what it did to it. Now, when I bought these, I had a little problem. It comes with a set of latches and all this hardware and everything and you have to put it all together. Uh, but one of the latches I got wouldn't open and I quickly ruled out the possibility that it was me. I did everything I could find to do and all the rest of them worked just fine. So I contacted the company and they said, well, you have to buy a new set of latches. And I wasn't too happy about that and I wrote uh, a letter or a, a comment or something and uh, said you know this is a defective product and blah 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 and, and they got back to me and they were very nice they sent me a new set of latches and they sent me um, a, like a refund to their site and all kinds of stuff and they, and they were very apologetic so nothing against Tusk customer service but once in a while you might have to push them a little bit anyway all of them work fine now I put lockies on them before before I left and all the locks still work just fine um, they're all key to like per set and so there's no worries about having different keys and all that only thing I could think of was if I could get a top box that was keyed the same as these boxes it would be real nice but if you want that go with happy trails or something else and, and you can get that well I guess I've shot off my mouth as much as I should on one subject so far so uh, there you have it it's a great set of panniers it has been for what I've done they're cheap they're fairly durable I mean you're crashing a motorcycle on it what do you expect it's a it's a piece of aluminum so all in all I'm pretty happy with them for the price you can't beat them anyway hope you liked the video uh, as always I'd love to hear your comments on questions or ideas or anything uh, concerning this or, or whatever topic so uh, throw them down below and until uh, next week you guys ride safe Now I had a problem 